I am going to create a new special deportation task force focused on identifying and quickly removing the most dangerous criminal illegal immigrants in America who have evaded justice, just like Hillary Clinton has evaded justice, okay? And so where are these immigrants coming from, and will the numbers shape the political debate? That's the question. With what exactly it means to allow millions of low-skilled workers from around the world to move here. My name is Asma. I'm from Somalia. My name is Henrique Leon Moura Brito. I am an exchange student and I am from Brazil. My name is Marian Ibrahim Mohamed. I'm from Kenya, Nairobi. My name is Ben Raita. I am from Kigali, Rwanda, to country in East Africa. Mm, my name is Fatuma Hussein Mohamed. I'm from Africa to Kenya. Sometimes I I got I got kinda nervous. Because my friends, they told me that, that like, if they didn't hear my accent, they would say they're American because I'm kind of like, I don't know, maybe no Spanish it look like, I don't know. The first day of school was, I think, the biggest experience of America because I was in a class and I was the only black dude and then nobody else spoke my language and it was so weird, I, I didn't know what to do. It was hard coming to the United States. We we struggled and we had to work hard and get to afford to come to here and get get um, education and everything. I think you gotta grow up early when you're an immigrant kid because you gotta help your parents do everything. The legal papers, you're the one who has to take care of it. Like, if my mom has a bank problem, I'm the one who goes to the bank and talks to them. And if my dad needs to apply for citizenship, I'm the one who has to work with them through that. But it's just hard when you're not from here, when you're not from a country that, that you are now, and people, like, don't want to know about you and don't understand you, and, like, a few of them don't want to help you because you're not, like, their people. And... They think like you deserve less or you're like um, worse than them just because you're not from there. And I just felt like I was on the bottom of the list when it comes to basic knowledge. I have to learn English because I left my family in Somalia. To talk like the people because I don't know, I was like, I don't know more English. I can't talk to people either. When I talk to them, they can't understand me. Like, some teachers, they understand me. Like, most of the students, they don't understand me, my English. I was like, confused. I could barely speak English. People barely understood what I said. And so it was so hard to communicate. So I couldn't wait till I get home to speak to someone who actually spoke my language and understood what I said. I don't know, like, uh, here at my school, I was talking Spanish with like a guy from Guatemala and a couple just asked for us and like they, I saw the guy, he got like uncomfortable, and uncomf uncomfortable because we were talking Spanish. Okay, the hardest thing in school is getting to know everyone. Like we don't understand each other and we're not saying we're not saying like tradition and everything in language and so it was hard to know to learn English. Um, English is my fifth language because the mother tongue is Somali and then I had to learn Kiswahili and then Arabic and then another language like it's not even known in but it's in Kenya. So and then English is the fifth one. One time I was in the hallway and I was hanging out with my friends and we were talking 
and we were by somebody's locker and it was a Muslim girl's locker. And she came through and she was like, excuse me, I gotta use my locker. And one of the guys that was standing there, he was like, oh, a terrorist is here. And he ran away. Uh, it's not to every American people, but I would say like to 30 or 20 percent of them, it would be you guys are not so, uh, you guys don't like too much for like people from other countries. I don't know why. But you see, though, those who are mean, like they don't show you their meanness, like they don't show you, but you can tell. And I went to my first football game and I was sitting at the top of the stairs and the senior, he was, this guy was a senior, he heard that I was from Africa and he had this big bucket of KFC chicken and he looked at me and he was like, hey, here's some food, I heard you ain't got no food in Africa. And I didn't know how to react. America is different from Africa. Um, like schools and houses and people and uh, traditional and uh, markets and everything like everything is different saying that america is the best and things like that i don't think it's a lie i mean i don't think it's totally real but i'm not sure you know if you should say that all the time because other countries they are they are just like you they they deserve to be like treated out the same way and they have people they have like uh their own culture and everything like that and none of them is like better than others as an immigrant seeing the president of the united states you know speak on us like that every time my friends watch the news or every time other people see the news they assume the worst you know nowadays when everybody sees an immigrant they think oh he's a thief Oh, he's here to take my job. Oh, he's a rapist. That, that's me they're talking about. Every time I see the news, you know, what you'll never see is that African immigrants are leading in academic success. You never see that on the news. Africa, you can't get any job because if you, if you don't know anything, like you have to learn, you have to graduate uh, high school, college. If you don't have like, if you don't drive to school, you can't get a job. Like, it's to work, market, some little bit of thing. You can't get one like in America, like America. Every kid, you know, they always got questions to ask. They're like, do you have food in Africa? Did you live in a hut? You know, did you ride a lion to school? Some of them are curious questions, and then others are ignorant questions. Like, I never thought I could be, a, like, an immigrant. And now that I feel it for real, I know that it's hard. It doesn't matter how you start, you know, what matters is how you finish. And that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna finish strong.